Today guys, we are going after spade fish. Now spade fish are really fun fish to fish for. Now we don't often do it with hook and line, this is more of a spear fishing approach. And so if you have a day when just the fishing's slow, you can't seem to hook up on anything, but you got a spear gun on the boat, and you got a mask and snorkel and some fins, this is something to go for because it's fun, It's uh, you get to do a lot of shooting, it's almost like a shooting gallery full of fish. So fish in a barrel without the barrel kind of thing. Um, but it works out pretty good. You can find spade fish in like 40 to 100 feet of water. Oftentimes what they do is they congregate over artificial wrecks, artificial reefs. So think about sunken tugboats or sunken barges. You're not gonna find them over natural ledges too much, or at least we haven't, but the artificial stuff works good. So if you got some numbers or you look up some public numbers, you can check these out. And oftentimes you'll see these fish. They tend to move up and down on the wreck, and so you don't even really need scuba gear. Like I said, as long as you have a mask, snorkel, some fins, and a spear gun or a pole spear, you're ready to go. What we do is, uh, as we approach a, a wreck or some numbers that we think have some space on it, uh, one of the things we'll keep an eye out for the space fish because they'll often come up to the surface, you'll see them rolling on the surface, and if you do, obviously you know they have them. But also keep an eye on your death reporter because they will show up there, you'll often see them you often see some sort of markings like halfway between the wreck and the surface of the boat because like I said these spade fish like to move up and down the wreck. That works good if you don't have a scuba setup. Now obviously scuba is an option here but if you don't have one that's okay too because what we do is when we come across some spade fish numbers we'll usually troll over the area and if we can see the spade fish uh, looking down the water from the boat we'll have one or two guys just kind of hang in on standby at the back of the boat and when we cross over they'll both jump off and swim toward the fish and take their shots. This is a good fish to go for if you want some meat because, you know, it's fish. It eats pretty good and there's no regulations on them yet. For now, I mean, you know, they're still the South Atlantic Marine Fishery, you know, and all their genius ideas. Can I tell you about all the red snapper we've been seeing? Anyway, there's no regulations yet, so since you can't go get snapper, we can at least get these fish to eat until the government comes after them. Anyway, spade fish, while we're fishing for them, they're, they're not really skittish, so that makes things good if you want to kind of like just get used to spear fishing, that's great. Because these fish are not skittish, it's usually really easy to get a shot. A lot of times the school will actually come up to you while you're in the water, and then as with any sort of spear fishing, take a good shot, go for a head shot, a gill shot, something that's gonna put them down quick, because uh, they can pull, and when they do, if, you're not, if you don't have a good grip on your spear gun or your pole spear, they could pull it out. One tip to keep in mind if you're going for spade fish. While they're not really skittish, they can be spooked, and so the tendency of people the first time they go spade fishing is, especially if they haven't done a whole lot of diving or snorkeling or anything in the past, you see this fish and while they will come up to the surface, sometimes they'll hang around 10 feet or 15 feet or 20 feet. You might see them, but they're not quite in range yet. Obviously spear guns do not have the range of a firearm or something like that. And so the mistake a lot of people make is they take a deep breath and they kick as fast as they can, as frankly as they can. They're pointing the gun up all tactical and stuff, trying to get there as quick and take their shot. Thing is, all these jerky movements make the fish a little leery, and so they tend to turn their school and move in a different direction. So the thing with spade fishing, this helps with a lot of other types of spear fishing, is to be smooth, to relax. What helps is instead of going directly to them and making all these frantic movements, just Keep a steady pace, don't swim at them, swim in the same direction the school's going. And just put a slight angle onto your path so you kind of come to them. Doing this, the spade fish don't really see you as a threat, they just see you as some other fish. And a lot of times they'll actually shift their pattern and kind of start coming around you trying to figure out what this other thing is in the water. And when they do that, you take your shot. So, you know, it's all about being smooth. 
When it comes to spearfishing anything, you want to be mindful of uh, predator fish that might be trying to steal your fish. Uh, we've heard there's been stories in the past. Uh, our cousin once had a lobster and a barracuda came by and took it out of his hand. And we've heard other stories like that, uh, obviously sharks, those kind of things. Um, but with spade fish, it hasn't been a major issue for us. We did have one cuda kind of eye us at one point where we were coming up with a couple spade fish, but we haven't had to fight them off. As always, you know, just be mindful of your surroundings. Guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the videos, uh, feel free to like them. That'd be great. Comment if maybe you have a question about uh, one of the tricks we use, or maybe you have a tip of your own you'd like to throw out there. Feel free to do so. If you really enjoy the video, uh, subscribe. That would be great. Share it with your friends. I mean, we're glad to spread the message. Uh, we'll have a lot of videos coming up soon. Lobster season's coming up, so expect some good lobster videos coming up. That is definitely one of the things we look forward to every year. We'll be down in the Keys. We'll be getting some lobster, we'll be doing some more spear fishing, some other fishing, some diving, a lot of good stuff coming down. Um, so, thanks for watching.